comments if you think AliExpress is sus. <laughs> To myself. What a wonderful Hello beautiful people and welcome back to another video. Today I will be trying out the Posca paint markers for the first time and I'm so excited to try them out. Let me show you all the ones that I have. <laughs> But the colors that I bought, I got this neon pink, um, this darker orange, a light orange, a yellow, a lime green, darker green, light blue, and dark blue. But other than that, I think that's about it for me. Well, introduction, Nicole, and I'll let video Nicole take over, so... Check you out in the video. Today I'll be doing a short little review on these Posca marker pens. I only bought a couple of them, mostly some of the bright neon colors since I wanted to see how opaque, pigmented, and the texture of them before and after drying and how the application works in general. So I had already done a live stream on my Instagram. If you saw that, you'd probably see I did a piece already well a couple pieces with these posca markers but this video will be a full in-depth of my opinions on them while i just doodle and color these architectural views that i sketched out before the video Before getting started on actually reviewing the Poscas, I just want to remind you all to press that notification bell so you never miss another video with me and as well as subscribing to this channel. I'm hoping to hit 200 by my birthday which is in a couple days so let's see if we can hit that goal. I was pleasantly surprised by how pigmented these Posca markers are. I bought them off of AliExpress making them a knockoff or cheaper version since it's not filled with as much ink, but was pleasantly surprised by how pigmented they were, how if I messed up I could kind of layer over another color, and they dried pretty quickly. Um, for this piece, every time I needed a little bit more color, just pressing down on the marker a little bit to gush I guess is the word, gush more paint out of the marker to be able to fill in that space.
that was a little bit off-putting for me was the texture of the paint after it dried. I know it was very similar to acrylic paint, but it wasn't smooth. It had this weird um, texture, kind of like a rug, like a rough rug when you pass your hand over. The texture just wasn't very appealing, so I think I might put like a layer of Mod Podge over it just um, if I do end up selling some of these. But yeah, I just, that's the only thing that was a little off-putting for me was the texture of the pigment after it had already dried. As far as color choice, I believe the color pigment from the marker ink itself was really close to the marker cap color, especially the darker colors like the blues, that darker orange, greens, and the yellow itself was really spot on to be honest. And I was pretty surprised because usually paint markers don't exactly match the marker cap. And all in all, I really think I would order more of these markers, maybe in some browns, some tan tones, sand tones, a white which is like a staple but I didn't buy it, maybe a black marker and just order a couple more to see what I can make as like a full illustration with all of these markers. I really love these Posca markers and recommend them to all of you and I hope you enjoyed this video remember to subscribe like comment and share with your friends and ring that notification bell so you never miss another video see you in the next one